On behalf of Aeromotive, I want to welcome all of you to this incredible unveiling of the million dollar diesel. We want to say thank you to Rich Downing and all the folks from Chevrolet for donating this incredible vehicle platform. And I'm going to turn it over to Robbie Woods of Battleborn Engineering and let him share with you the details about this amazing truck that's two years in the making. The few of you here that know me know that I've been racing off-road trucks for the last uh, eight years of my life. And as much success and fun as we've had with that, we realized that it wasn't something that was going to pay the bills or build some longevity. And I made the uh, very difficult decision to, uh, to stop my racing career for a temporary period of time and build a vehicle. And uh, I reached out to the great people at Chevrolet and told them about what I was doing and said that I absolutely needed their support to transition uh, into the next stage of mine and my family's life. And uh, they said yes, and I got myself into a big mess that I couldn't even afford to pay for. Um, I reached out to the Tyree family and they were right on hand as good friends will to pay for it. And uh, I've just had an overwhelming amount of support from my friends and my family, and my beautiful fiance, Brooke, um, my dad, the Tyrees, and Aeromotive so much and most importantly for helping us get it here and having a place for it. We built an engine that makes 1,700 horsepower and clearly there's nobody else that could supply it enough fuel and aeromotive has been with us for 10 years now and it's just an awesome, awesome opportunity um, between myself, Chevrolet, the Tyrees, the Woodses, and uh, this is what two years of my life looks like, guys, the, the million dollar diesel. You know, I started racing short course off-road and was just learning as we went, kind of like you do. And um, the truck was decent when we got started, but like literally, we just fixed things as we ran into problems. And uh, I burnt down my engine and I only had one um, because we were starving it of fuel. It had an old, like, Holly Red fuel pump on it. And, you know, the, the guys that I had access to told me, oh, it makes 700 horsepower, it'll be fine, that'll supply it. And after blowing one up, uh, I just started doing research and knew that I had it to get the help, you know. So at the time, uh, I reached out, and I want to say it was Jesse Powell at Aeromotive, and um, just told him what I was doing. I, mean, I built this truck. I'm learning. I'm not a professional yet, racing in a professional league, and uh, we need fuel delivery. And I was actually part of the development for the Intank A1000. That's my claim to fame, is that I had the first one in an off-road truck. Um, I told him a collapsed length that I needed for the drop-in that we had, and we came up with kind of a little catch can system to put in there and we put in a, an A1000 and, and uh, the regulator that matched it and we ran that thing for 10 years. Never had to change any of the systems. The new trucks always got the same thing. So um, stepped out of that and really putting my focus is into building my company, Battleborn Engineering. And um, you know, it's, it's like you do with your friends as life goes on. I had to kind of narrow the cut of people that I was involved with because I wanted to step up into the next level of builders. and reached out to Aeromotive again and told them, hey, I'm building this, you know, almost 2,000 horsepower uh, diesel power trophy truck and, and I'm not getting solid answers anywhere else as to how I'm going to deliver it with that much fuel and 100 gallons of it at that. So, uh, you know, the new 230 lift pump was the only option that would do it and that's, that's why we're here. You know, diesel makes 24% more BTUs per gallon than gasoline does and uh, in, a, in a longevity form of racing, if you could tell your, your, your competitors, I'm going 24% farther than you before I have to stop and get fuel in an endurance race. That's a huge, huge, people lose the Baja 1000 because they had to pit. I mean, literally, they'll finish 40 and 50 seconds apart in a thousand mile, 28 hour race. So if they got to get 10 fuel stops and I make five, you do the math. You know, they take two minutes, it's 10 minutes. So, so I've been telling people for 10 years, I'm going to build a I'm going to build a mid-engine all-wheel drive trophy truck with 2,000 horsepower and it's just been kind of a pipe dream and uh, a lot of the cards aligned for it to happen. I've had a tremendous amount of time to think about it, you know, this isn't something that happened this year. Um, but there's, there's very few companies that really make a product that you can tell someone is extremely, extremely proud of. And, you know, as time goes on and China knocks off more of our hard work and parts, um, the harder it gets to do that. And so when you find good American-made companies like Aeromotive, 
um, you know, to, to build products that meet our standards. Uh, we have a very old fashioned approach. I won't put a Chinese made part on anything I build, period. And so, um, you know, quality, craftsmanship, and attention to detail is everything.